Hey traders, Taylor with Gamma Edge here, coming at you with a market status for f uh, Monday, February 6th. General disclaimer, give it a read when you're done, so let's move on. Here, looking at the tick US model, Friday, you did see a short-term reversal. Um, this meaning the cumulative tick crossing below short-term moving average ribbon, which are both starting to trend lower. This is a take profit signal, not all of your profits, some of your profits. Well, really, it's up to you how much profits you want to take. Um, however, you know, long-term, still a constructive uptrend. Um, we are day 18 of the signal. So, I mean, if you've been riding it up for most of the way, you've had great gains thus far. Nothing wrong taking a little profit here. However, uh, not ta not telling you what to do, only just interpreting what the, what the signals are telling us. It did see some filtered tick um, buying through the close. However, new highs continue to outpace new lows, which is constructive. Uh, tick ARCX model here did see, again, short-term reversal, crossing below short-term moving average ribbon. Uh, again, take some profit signals. However, long-term, we are still constructive, uh, beautiful looking longer-term ribbon. Uh, again, just hitting on this, uh, signals 18 days and 13 days on a longer signal respectively. So again, uh, very, very, very nice trend thus far. Looking at the SBY PBI dashboard, uh, here's the full structure coming into Friday. We had price above uh, plus GEX was at 415. I think we got around to 420-ish area, which was another large gamma level from there. We failed uh, below 4, 415. Really, we have a, a large transition zone down to 400. I say large transition because gamma here is more or less meh. Kind of what I've been writing about again 410 negative gex to the downside. Um, lastly, I want to hit on the um, price action real quick. Here we are looking at our daily chart 390, kind of bull bear line in the sand to the upside. Uh, this is 412 technical level. We'll zoom in there on the hourly chart real quick. You can see the interaction we've had down there uh, to the downside, uh, just looking at local lows, which is just below 380. Here again, looking at the hourly chart, again, 412, uh, pretty meaningful level here in terms of TA, a lot of price interaction. That's right right where we settled on Friday. So again, this is a good spot for a risk to reward if then statements, you know, if we see a breakout higher uh, long or if then breakout lower, potential short, just uh, have to see how price, price interacts and what, what our levels are telling us. Uh, again, looking at the SPY two-minute chart, here you can see we're kind of in the middle of a chop zone on the two-minute time frame, kind of micro level. Um, levels COT and P, zero gex to the downside, P trans to the upside. So again, uh, key levels to, to keep in mind there. And then hitting on SPX, same kind of deal uh, in the middle of a, of a chop zone on this time frame where we have actually uh, COT and P and P trans to the downside. Uh, those are two good support levels to the upside. We are at uh, plus GEX. Lastly, rounding out, just hitting on Apple and Tesla real quick. Here's Apple. Again, similar SPY, SPX in the middle of a chop zone. Uh, key levels to the downside listed here. Again, key levels to the upside above, COT and P. Uh, P trans uh, GEX and then plus GEX to the upside. Lastly, looking at Tesla, again, middle of the range here, CAO, TMP to the downside, P trans to the upside, followed by plus GEX. So um, with that, best of luck tomorrow. Talk to you all tomorrow night, gammaedge.us, where you can find us. Bye.